Hi guys, um, welcome back to the video. I saw some comments asking me to do a study tip video. So I'm thinking about to do it today and share with you guys how I take notes on my iPad, how I plan um, my day with some apps. But before that, uh, I'm going to say that I'm not a very like straight A student or a dinner student. So I um, I'm just sharing some tips that I think is useful for me and I would like to share with you guys and see if that helps you too. So leave a comment down below and see if that really helps you or somehow motivates you during this quarantine time. So let's get started. So first I'm going to start with how I planned my day and how I plan my schedule. Um, and I usually use Google Calendar to plan out my schedule. Yes, it is accessible on um, all of my devices so I usually use my phone to type in those information about what's the important date and I color coded them with um, different color to remind myself so it prevents me from missing any important date so as you can see here with this kind of like red color it means quizzes or tests or exams which is like very important stuff so I'm just gonna put it in red color and with this creases over here. And um, this purple color is actually the school calendar that I downloaded from my school's website. So it just auto-generated over here. And I got some like um, this yellow color is like some activities or something I want to remind myself or some CCA's events. So this is my schedule like um, last February. And over here is March, so this is basically how I do with like Google Calendar. And another good thing for Google Calendar is that you can set up reminder for yourself whether you want to remind yourself half an hour before um, your event or day before your event. You can just set it up all in the. That's all over here, so you can set up the time. You can change the color. Yeah, that's basically for Google Calendar. And now moving on to my weekly planner, I use a Google Doc to do this. So I am started off with some like quotes that I can motivate myself, but I don't know if that's useful or not, but I'm just writing it down to make it more like fancy. Here are some schoolworks. This is something that randomly typed in because they're already over. So I'm just going to type in the schoolworks and what are the tasks or assignments that I'm going to do and the due date. Um, of this assignments and some of this tasks that I want myself to do. You can strike it out with alternate shift plus five. I think I'll I'll forget about this, so I just write it here to strike this thing out. Or but I sometimes think that's very messy, so I usually just change the color into like um, a lighter color like this, which means I already finished this task. And then moving on, actually there are three parts in my weekly planner so first part is about the schoolwork and stuff the list of assignments and moving on here is um like a table this table is inspired by river Zine. i saw in this vlog of her and she say how she used google doc to plan out her day and i think that is really useful so i decided to use that um so if you want more details you can just watch this video but for me i'll just list on my day like this like from monday to sunday i will have three roles and this the first was um for morning the task that i'm gonna get done in the morning in the afternoon and at night so same so if i finish this task i'm just gonna change the color into like lighter color so it will be really easy to see if I didn't finish some of my tasks and it's really easy for me to reschedule them if I didn't finish this. Um, I'm just gonna like copy the task and put it on Monday. Yeah, that means I'm going to do the task on Monday. So it's really easy to see like a whole week of your workflow and what the thing that you've done and what's the thing that you haven't done. Alright, now moving on to the third part. It's a timeline table. This was inspired by... Um, Kian Matt vlog in this video she shows how she used this to track her studies I decided to use it too um here are my different modules I put them in different color meaning different modules and over here is my it's a topic that I'm going to cover and here are the actions that I'm going to do 
for this um, organic camp, for example. I have this recorded lectures to watch. I can track myself whether I'm finishing it or not. And then once I finish it, for example, uh, once I finish the notes taking for chapter 7, I'm just going to change this into um, green color, which means I have finished this stuff. Yeah, that's basically it. But this thing is so satisfying is that once you see the whole, whole patch is green, you feel so good about it and I can't wait to fill up this spaces with green color so that it kind of motivates myself to finish my, my task like as soon as possible. So this is actually some study tracker from my last semester since the semester is ended now. So I'm just gonna show you guys this like different models with different study tracker. So that's basically how I plan my schedule using Google Calendar and Google Doc. And now moving on, I'm going to show you guys how I take my notes. So now let's move to the second part of how I make my notes. There are usually three steps of how I usually finish up my notes. So the first step is that I would write directly on my lecture slide during lecture. And second, I will do digital notes on my iPad. And third, I would print out the notes to study. So let's get more detailed into it. Um, I'm using Notability on my iPad. Actually, I bought both. I bought Good Notes and Notability, and after some time trying out those two, I think Notability is more suitable for me. <clears throat> I'll use the divided tool to organize my different modules like this, and different divider. And inside different divider, I have different kind of files to organize the notes. So, for example, this um, I'm going to show you guys my organic chemistry. And then we got term one. These are all those lecture slides that our professor usually um, uploaded the slide online before the class, so I can download it and export it to my uh, and import it to my notability. And these are the notes. So I'm going to show you guys some of my notes that I did. For example, this one. So this is the lecture slide and. I just write out some thoughts. So, uh, I'm just writing down my notes on my slides. Let me see. So I can like insert paper like this, insert an additional paper to write down some extra notes. I can also insert some sticky notes like this. I can insert a, insert a sticky notes over here. Ah, wait, here. And then you can just drag it out and choose a color. You can write on it. I usually use the sticky notes as my summary throughout for this whole um, slide. This purple color sticky notes, it's for the summary of this slide and this red color sticky notes are something important I want myself to remember. I usually like to write it down in some easier language or some language that I'm more familiar to. So sometimes I'm, I'll just um, explain them in Chinese like as my first language so that it makes me easier to understand. For a second I read through this slide, I can just get the point like immediately without like rereading the whole passage again. That's basically my notes for how I do my notes during the lecture. Since the COVID-19 situation getting worse like last this year, this semester, a lot of our physical, uh, physical classes are cancelled, so I am kind of getting used to the recorded lecture. And the good thing about a recorded lecture is that uh, I can pause anytime I want it. I just pause and I so that I can write down my notes more detailed instead of just scooping down something um, during physical lecture since the prof is talking like real fast. Now moving on to my second step is digital notes. Um, here are some of my favorites notes that I did for actually I did it for final but then the finals are cancelled so I actually didn't use them at all. <laughs> um so this is my organic chemistry notes. So I just write it out like like this. I just reorganize everything and write it up completely from the like just like to my notes. I used to copy them like blindly, but I don't think that is even useful. I'll just reorganize everything, restructure everything, and try to write them down in my own language, in my own way. I know it's time consuming to do notes like this, but after all of those ways that I try to use, like 
last semester. I think still, even though it's time consuming, but this is the most effective way for me to study. And it helps to enhance my memory too when I am writing down the notes. A very important point about writing, rewriting on notes is that you can know which part that you don't know, which part that is still confused very clearly. I'm gonna show you guys my other notes. basically my second step of doing the notes this is the most time-consuming task ever but believe me you're going to worth it this helps so much the third step is that I'll print out my notes and put them in a binder like this this are the organic chemistry notes that I printed out to study Basically, it I decided to go paperless since I bought my iPad, but then the one semester of trying to study directly on iPad to my notes, there's a few downsides that I don't really like, so I end up still printing them out. But compared to the time before I bought my iPad, I still save a lot of paper since I don't need to print on my lecture slide anymore. Um, the downside about studying directly on iPad is that for me, I like to draw lines and like circle up things when I'm studying. So I usually use pencil like to draw on my notes so that it kind of helps me to memorize and understand the sentence. But I can do that on iPad because since I draw it since I draw it on my notes it would just draw on it. If I want to erase like the line after that I would accidentally like end up erasing everything that I write. So that's the bad thing that I don't really like about studying on iPad. And and another point is that I like to memorize this like the position of information is on the right side of the page or it's on page three or whatever, but I can't do that on iPad because it's just one page and every page seems the same. So it's kind of like hard for me to use this position memorizing method and I don't really like it because I feel like I end up memorizing nothing. So I just decided to print it out for my third step to study. I hope this can be a motiv motivation for you guys to study during this hard time. I hope you guys get some help from this video. I'm just sharing you guys how I did my notes, how I plan my schedule, usually for schools. Hope you guys like it and see you guys in my next video.